Welcome back to Across Louisiana. You know, they're out there defending our freedom, but they're not getting the things that they need. And there's an organization, Leadership Ascension, that's going to do something about that. Here to tell us all about that is Pat Anderson. Welcome to the show, Pat. Thank you so much. Pat, this is just so surprising to me when I found out that, that our guardsmen that are out there protecting our freedom are, are really not getting the things that they need, and you've stepped in to fill that void. Tell the folks a little bit about it. Well, I'm very excited to be a part of Leadership Ascension Class of 2013. Every year, the Chamber selects 34 professionals to join. Our group, which is called LANGA, Leadership Ascension adopts the National Guard Armory, we're taking on the armory because we've come to realize that the soldiers you never really think about too much unless it's disaster relief. Think about hurricanes. They could be on disaster relief for a couple of few weeks, nowhere to do their laundry, they're living at the armory, they're so busy no one's had time to update it. So my class has adopted the armory and what we're going to do is re renovate the men's and women's restrooms as well as create laundry room areas so that they, just the basic functions that we think about on a day-to-day -day basis is available to them. You know, I, I, it's a great way to give back and it's a great mission to have yes. for your organization. I, you know, I don't think most people realize that, you know, some of these problems exist where you, you know, have to do laundry when you're there deployed so right. long or, or, you know, if you have latrines that are, that are not up to standard Correct. or anything like that. Um, talk to me a little bit about what the relationship with the Armory has been like since you've taken on this project. They have been wonderful. The National Guard Armory in Gonzales is the horizontal unit, the 922nd. They're currently deployed for one year. So before they left, we got to meet some of the soldiers and they knew about our project. So they really won't see the finished product until they come back next February. So what was so interesting to us during our tour was the women soldiers now, they had no latrine facilities for showering. So when they had that need, the men soldiers had to be escorted out of the building to allow the women their privacy. And we thought for all that these soldiers give to us as people from Louisiana, not just Ascension Parish, we had to take this on just to make their lives a little easier when they're in town. Well, I know worthwhile projects like this don't happen on their own. They need money. So yes. you, have, you have an important event coming up to help out with we that. We do. Thank you for asking. On Saturday, April 27th, starting at 7 a.m., we're going to host a nine-family yard sale at my office, Remax Plus, on Airline Highway in Prairieville. We'll be advertising in the normal places you would normally see that, but we're on airline between Highway 42 and Highway 73. So I hope everybody comes out and supports our cause. We're going to have some great items to sell. And we also had a proceeds night at Kamal's Cafe recently. That was a great event, and Kamal was just tremendous to us. And uh, we have a contractor that is helping us immensely with layer construction. And we have a lot of other corporate sponsors as well, but still looking for more. Well, and I know for something like this, it takes the whole community to pull together. Absolutely. So tell the folks again one more time about the event so they can take part in it. Yes, please. It's April 27th. It's a yard sale um, at 16581 Airline Highway. And also, you can go to our Facebook page of Adopt the Armory, and there's a fundraiser.com site if you want to donate online. Fantastic. Pat, thanks for coming on and Thank tell us all about it. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it.